So, uh, we're still, this has been a, a whole session of social link stuff, so we're still kind of working at that, waiting to see what the next dungeon situation will be. It's rain, I don't like it. No one's turned up missing yet, but it still makes me uneasy, so I think, yeah, we're going to start seeing that happen. Yo! Yosuke forced himself under your umbrella. Hey, make room for me too! It's already full, dumbass. Get now, don't make room under hers. It's By quite all means, right. Kanji kun you'll catch a cold at this rate if you don't. What? Uh, me and her under the same umbrella? Hell with that. If I did that, uh, it'd mean we'd practically be like a couple. And that's a problem because, dude, how old are you? Uh, shut up! Come on, let's trade spots. You know how the stupid that sounds, right? It's fine with me. Naoto, mind if I walk with you? Wait, no, I don't like that either. <laughs> What are you calling stupid? Stop talking shit about me. Oh, you just make up your mind. Excuse me. Well, don't make any room. I'm making room for whoever. I will go with Naoto myself. Huh? You? A third choice, eh? Not what I expected, but I have no objections. You both lose. That's what you get. I don't need an umbrella and a damp drizzle like this. I'll show you all how it's done. Blah! Kanji can? <laughs> Idiot's gonna make himself sick. <laughs> Bunch of dummies. What's up? Good day. Do I have any plans after school? Uh maybe. I'll decide later. Yeah, don't want to decide now. I gotta figure out all the options and the raining and raining and bullshit. Uh, so where do I find Nalto? Because if it's raining, that probably means I can't. I don't know, Marie. I'm sick of all this rain. Fine, I guess we'll hang out with Nalto again. Hello. Hello. Okay, sure. Yes. Seems now to have something to report about the card you gave her. As you can see, nothing's written on it. It's a plain white card, but it feels a bit stiff given its thinness. Without any indication of its contents, however, I have no idea who sent it. Chalk it up as a prank. Well, that's no fun. <laughs> One would expect there to be more. Excuse me. Yes, it's me. Ah, Yakushiji-san. What's the matter? A thief in the Shogani estate? Yes. Yes, I see. I don't keep anything in that room I'd miss terribly. You already reported this to the police, I assume? I'll leave the rest to you. As long as Grandpa is safe, it doesn't matter. Can't take my eyes off this case yet. Now to hung up quickly. What happened? Oh. Sorry, you heard, didn't you? Nato looks a bit uncomfortable. It's from Yakushiji, my grandpa's secretary. It appears someone has broken into the Shirogani estate. My room was targeted, and he wanted to know if I could think of any particular item the thief might be after. Several items pertaining to me were also stolen from grandpa's inventory. Well, he should have taken it out of his inventory and left it in his base. You carry your shit around your inventory, so when he ganks you, you're gonna lose it. I don't know about those, but my belongings aren't of any particular value, so... Yes. Ah, oh, the card. You don't have to worry about me. We both have more pressing matters to attend to. I'm not sure how to react to you uh, worrying about me. I feel like you understand Naoto a bit more. Just because you're edgy. You're just, you're, I understand you, you edgy, edgy detective. Shirogane Naoto, edge detective. Cool little rocket boy. I'll see you again. So I guess I can go to the. I should go buy gear for her because I haven't yet. Uh, don't want to work as a tutor because I'm going to talk to Dojima. Oh yeah, 500 bucks! Fuck man, where do you keep getting all this money? 
Yeah, I'll spend some time with the Jima. A newspaper article. Oh yeah, I found it. Were you worried about it? It's about Chisato, my wife. She was killed by a hit and run. I swore vengeance on all cars forever. I'm the car killer now. There's nothing more I can say about it in the house. Let's stop there. Then let's go outside. You can not smoke that cigarette. <sighs> she... Nanako's mother was run over on her way to pick up Nanako from nursery school. It was a cold day and there were no witnesses, so they didn't find her till much later. Till they got word to me, Nanako was waiting all that time at the nursery. All alone. Waiting for a mother who would never care. I mean, come. She didn't care either. I couldn't tell Nanako her mother was killed. That her father, whose job it is to catch criminals, couldn't find a single lead. I haven't given up. I'll catch the guy. I don't need a private life to do that. Nanako will understand. You're right. You should be crime-fighting guy. Maybe not now, but there'll come a day when she will. I have to tell myself that. I'm fucking tired, dude. Sorry. Leave me alone for now. You? Thanks. Don't you. Forget about me. Sensing that pain. You left at Dojima in the living room, and you went into your room, and then asleep. Hey. The culture festival is just around the corner. Let's all gun bat day to prepare for it. Okay. Our class was late on deciding what to do, and Miss Kashiwagi has been very busy, right? So we need to pick up the slack and make sure we do a good job. Oh, I'm not interested in the blind date part, you understand? I'm not, okay? Sure. Milady doth protest too much. Methinks. Today, I'll talk about the history of food. It'll be a nice change. Among food history, one of the most interesting is the history of French cuisine. Now, French cuisine is representative of European food, but actually stems from Italian food. A noble Italian girl married the French king in the 16th century, and that's when it crossed over, among other things. Like the fork. I can't imagine eating some things without a fork today. It said before the fork was introduced, everyone in France just ate with their hands or a knife. So modern French cuisine with its strict manners now has its roots in Italian cuisine. How about that? Wasn't it interesting to see world history through the lens of the food? Nah, I mean, kinda, I guess. Made me so hungry. No, it's too high. Yes. Uh, Good. Not, not really. Um, not really into. Okay. All right, we're gonna try to work on Marie. She is. Hey. Yeah. Uh, let's see if we can cheer you up. Summon Gawa Riverbank. You brought Marie here. She seems quiet. Hey. <laughs> I want to see a dolphin. Bring out a dolphin. I'm going to count to three. By the time I get there, I better see a dolphin. You got it? Marie seems especially irritable today. How One, stupid. two, three. Hey, where's my dolphin? Hello, this sucks. Cause she's such a trash. She's such trash. Your head hurt again? No, it doesn't. My nope. head doesn't hurt as long as I don't think too much. It doesn't matter anymore. I stopped trying to remember. There's no point in trying to look for any answers. In the end, I couldn't figure anything out anyway. Coward. What can I do about it? I can't remember. I can't remember anything. Thinking makes my head hurt, and even if something comes up, it vanishes the next instant. I hate this, stupid jerk. There you go. That's what we're trying to do. Get you all riled up. Just leave me alone. I hate this. My head hurts. 
All I want to do is have some fun. God, I've got a feeling that I'm not the only one. You sense Marie's heart-rending emotion. You feel like you understand her even more. So we just harass her until she's in pain, and then we get the, the rank up. Good. Fine. I don't need memories. I'm better off not knowing. Bye. <laughs> Say all that. work at a janitor at the hospital today, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna bump my social link with little Princess Nanako here. It's almost my birthday in the game. But they won't notice. They'll be all busy doing Halloween stuff. Yes. Yo! I'm looking forward to it. I know, right? I hope it gets really interesting. Especially for some events in particular. Huh? Huh? Yeah! God damn you. What's everybody looking at over here in the fun board? A headline written in large letters on the bulletin board. The Miss Yasogami High Pageant. It seems to be announcing a beauty pageant that will take... It's gonna be, it's gonna be rough. Ugh! On top of planning it, Kashiwagi's gonna Goo. be it. So that's why oh, she's no, to plan no. it. Oh no, no! The name Noriko Kashiwagi is indeed on the entry list. The other contestants are Yukiko Amagi, Chie Satanaka, Risei Kujikawa, Naoto Shirogane, Hanako Hotani. This is gonna be shit. Like, just fucking buckle in, cause it's gonna be real bad. There's a lot of signups here. I'm surprised so many people. For someone who that. claims to be disinterested student, you seem to be paying a lot of attention. Whoa, Risa Kujikawa? Seriously? Oh man, trust a celebrity to kill the fun of it all. I bet she'll draw a huge crowd. Wow, Yukiko-san's finally entering. Yukiko fan. If this was any other year, she'd win for sure. Now she's up against Rosette. It's going to be a culture festival to remember. <laughs> huh? Riz Maybe I better think more seriously about saving a seat. Look, Chie's entering too. She's actually pretty close to my I like that guy's voice. <laughs> oh, whoa. Yeah, Chie. <laughs> so, yeah. Actually, I hear she has a lot of secrets. Cool, it's the Objectification there. Festival. Naoto's that boyish, girlish whatever right you know she's a uh, never cute. ever refer to someone as a boyish girlish whatever respect people's gender presentations kids dude you sound like a pervo when you laugh like that but to be honest i think Shh, she's just cute shut too. up just everyone shut the fuck up was this your doing yosuke yo are you free for lunch i don't know why but chie asked us to come to the roof Ah, the roof. That's where Chia hangs out. Pretty serious. I wonder if something's happened. Oh, and Kanji's coming too. You were called out to the rooftop during lunch. You better have a damn good explanation. Yeah, seriously. Let's keep the shit out of this dude. I mean, not literally. For what? Seriously, dude, that's low. No, it wasn't me. Why do you want to matter? Right, so who was me? it? We blame you because you're the kind of person who does. Ah, uh, it was you him. Do it, you just say no, right? Like it was just a joke. We wouldn't be so pissed if God we damn it, that. Yosuke. With Kashiwagi planning this year's event, even those who got entered by other people can't back out. Such trash. Seriously? Must have been something in the fine print I overlooked. So it was you! 
hurl him from the roof. Oh crap! Hey, do you want us to take part in the beauty pageant? Well, yeah. I mean, you guys know how popular Yukiko is here. And on top of that, we have an idol and a detective print. What's the point of having a beauty pageant if all these incredible heroines aren't going to take part? Well, now that you mention it, um, I think Nanako mentioned something earlier about incredible heroines, so I'll see what I can do about that. So where do I fit in? Oh. Well, excuse me for not Well, excuse in. me, princess. You want them to be in it too, don't you, Kanji? Don't try and get us to fucking help you out here. Huh? I ain't interested in that Damn stuff. right. Yeah, there is... Naoto-kun, Kanji-kun says that he really wants no, you to be No, he didn't in it. say that. Also, there's nothing wrong with... There's nothing wrong with uh, entering a beauty pageant if you do it by choice. Right? If you want to be in it, that's cool. Consent. It's great. This fucking guy... I didn't say nothing. What about you? You want them to be in it, right? Whoa, enter the pageant, damn it. Of course I do. No, not really. Ah, I see. Is that a hint of jealousy in your No, voice? Rise, you, you misinterpret. I only had three options. <laughs> you torment me. Hey, you guys are inching onto the bandwagon with Yosuke, no. aren't you? So long as there are people looking forward to seeing me, I might as well put on a show for them. Of course, there's no need to involve my agency in this. That's right! That's the way to go! Teddy's looking forward to it too. Actually, I think he was more excited than anyone. It was him who was pushing me to sign you all <laughs> Okay, blame it on Teddy. Sure, you fucking quizzling piece of trash. <gasps> so Ted's behind this too! We're in an awkward position. If we can't refuse, I suppose there's no sense in arguing the uh, point. I mean, you could just not do it. But it seems ill-fitting for someone like me to get up on stage. I wonder if there's any way I could take it up with the school authorities. Uh, I don't think it's a problem at all. I mean, just do it. You know? Seriously. <laughs> Kanji, you're so confusing. Dude, looks like your blood's boiling even more than usual. <laughs> Silly Kanji, just tell her you want to see her on the stage. So, is it a deal? The four of us will be in the beauty pageant? What are you saying? Um, I beg you, please be in it. I really want to look at you in like a way where I can, uh... If you do, my, uh, doubts will finally be cleared. Wow, that's a lot of work, just like putting your entire... S sexual identity on one person. Come on, make me a man. Come on, I don't want to feel gay anymore. Doubts? What are you talking about? Look, just, just do it, damn it. He's so confused. Uh, detective, aren't you? Oh my god, you dummy. What does that have to do? Stop with externalizing country? all your feelings. <laughs> <laughs> what a. Kanji, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at least Kanji was asking, right? He was like, do it. And he's like, I don't, I'm confused. I liked you before when I thought you were a dude. And I still like you, but you're not a dude anymore. We're back. I'm so tired. Where'd you guys go? Over to Jeunesse. We had to go get some paint and cloth. And this butcher knife. Oh, for the For later. Grave digging shovel. Thank you. Did you have them write you an invoice? Yeah, I think they understood what it was for, so they wrote it without us having to ask. There's some things I want to go over about the day of the event. Is this about the group date cafe? Yes, since Yosuke's leading the executive committee. Wait, what? It was your proposal, right? Are you serious? Well, all you have to do is the reception. After people sign in, have a few guys and girls sit facing each other at a table, conduct a short session first where they ask each other questions. After about half an hour of that, 
It'll be confession time. Get them to select the number of the person they like. If the other person accepts, that makes them a couple. Hey, Yosuke, you listening? <sighs> yeah, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if we roll up this bit of cloth, won't it kind of be like a ball? Yeah, okay, I'll be the catcher. Why the catcher? Hey, Yosuke, wanna be the batter? <sighs> uh, I don't give a damn anymore. I'm in. Watch me slam that ball right back in Watch me face. slam my balls right into your face. Look, what are they doing? Okay, they're gonna go play baseball. Hey, you guys better get serious about this. a piece of this. fabric? I don't... The group date cafe your class will be running at the culture festival is getting underway. You're home. You work as a tutor, work as a janitor, or I can talk to Dojima. Gotta spend that time with Dojima. Gotta get those social links up. You can see a headline in large letters on the bulletin board. The Miss Yasogami High Pageant. It also seems the cross-dressing pageant is going to be held at the cultural festival. Hey, it's Yosuke. We're expecting great things from you. <laughs> They're doing the cross-dressing pageant again this year? Man, they never learn, do they? Ooh, some people have signed up already. <laughs> Man, what idiots would want to be in this thing? I mean, you. You, you. You're getting signed up. Let's see. Yosuke Hanamura. Me! Feels good, doesn't it, asshole? Wait, and Kanji Tatsumi? You're on here, too! You Narukami, that's your name, all right. There's a lot of contestants. Didn't we only get like two people last year? I heard this year, even if someone else signs you up, you can't. That's a terrible out. rule. Well, that's yeah. not cool. Hey, but what if they did sign themselves up? Ew, what a disturbing thought. Seriously, that's really Why, wrong. disinterested student? Why is it so wrong? Someone else signs you up? Yeah, that's some bullshit too. It's just like total consent violation, just it's like them. across the they board. Done this. Just everybody, just everybody's consent being violated. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible shit. Two wrongs do not make a right. You better have a damn good explanation for this. For what? For what, my ass? For signing us all up in the cross-dressing pageant. It was you, wasn't it? Oh, that thing. Risei-chan started saying, let's all have fun with this. So, I didn't really have a choice. And Kashiwagi seems happy too, now that there's more people involved in it. You little... This is cross-dressing! Cross-dressing! And yeah, if you know, clothes had a gender, then maybe that would be a problem for you, but... What are you so scared of? Well, you're the one who started it! It's because of you that we can't back out of the beauty pageant, so it serves you right! That's beside the point. Don't worry. We'll make you absolutely... It's funny how it's okay. actually... And I don't know, we'll see how it plays out, but it's actually sort of too... Um, two different kinds of like shittiness towards the women in the game because the women are gonna get objectified and treated like objects, right? Beauty pageant's probably gonna be like, ugh, they're so sexy. Except the fat girl will be shamed and treated like shit. And then the men, it'll be all like, haha, funny, you're dressed up like women. Why would anybody who isn't a woman wear women's clothes? That's funny and stupid, right? 
Yeah. That's not what's important You know, it's here. not like, like, the way that often media portrays men wearing women's clothes as a joke, uh, it's not the same as, like, drag, whereas drag is recognized for that being the framework, but not that it's funny, that it's like a, a performance, like burlesque. So this is actually, it's not, it's not, the game might be thinking, the people that wrote the game might be thinking like, oh, now it's even, right? Like, ha, ah, they both have to do something uncomfortable. But really, it's, it's punching in the same direction twice. I'll give it my all. Whoa. Are you serious? Fuck yes. Yeah, yeah, this has nothing to do with pride or any of that. Yeah, I mean, pride's in June, bitch. <laughs> Already, right? Speaking of drag, you can't back out. If you got a problem with that, go talk to Ms. Kashiwagi. Oh. <laughs> she is no way sassy. Listen. Why are you giving up? I ain't doing this. Period. Kanji kun, are you still okay as far as the mandatory attendance policy? I don't think it would be wise to disappoint a teacher too much. <laughs> you know that, I love that. <laughs> You're scary, senpai. Just leave it to us to dress you guys up. Um, no. I think me and Kanji, we probably got this. Risi Chan's with us too. There's no way you won't turn out pretty. You're positive we'll be pretty. I guarantee it. Hey, why are you suddenly fine? Because I'm secure in my gender presentation, douche. Yeah. Well, if we gotta do this, might as well go all Fuck the way. Fuck yeah. There's nothing manly about being a woman. I have no idea how to respond to that. Like, I just... <laughs> Kashiwagi's sure gonna get angry if you don't show up. Maybe you and Kanji Kun can be classmates next year. Why is this happening? You know, the funny thing is, like, if you, Yosuke, if you just did it, if you just, the, the irony here is that the manly thing to do would be just to not be such a fucking baby and just do it and fucking rock that shit and recognize that like putting on a sequin gown and some makeup and a wig and fucking working your shit like Kanji I am sure is going to do is actually way cooler and way tougher and way more self-assured than this little whiny baby festival you got going on in the classroom. We all end up in the same boat without our consent. Yeah, I wonder how that happened. What kind of joke is this? Uh, the exact same joke you pulled on us? If we gotta do this, might as well go all the way with it. Oh, the, the statement, there's nothing manly about being a woman, is just, it's on the surface. Like, he's making a very binary, like, statement about what, some things that are womanly and some things that are manly. Um, I didn't know how to respond because it's so much more nuanced than that. And his uh, interpretation of binary gender understanding is very limited, and I just didn't want to get into it. Also, it's like a really funny, straightforward thing to say. Oh, welcome back. What up, Nanako? Banana Corporation? Oh, I can't, I can't social link with you. All right, I'm just gonna go upstairs. Then. Culture Festival begins today. You should hurry to school. I mean, we've we've talked about Yosuke being realistic. Like he's just a he's a dirtbag teenager. Um, I'm not saying he's hopeless. I'm not saying he won't learn or grow or be a better person later. You know. Also, I, I was giving the game shit because it doesn't let me help him. If we're actually friends, I should be telling him when he's being shitty and being like, Hey man, like, this is an offensive thing to say, or like, you're hurting people's feelings, or you're 
leveraging your social power to like negatively impact other people's lives, but fuck Persona because it won't let me, right? It has a very linear path. And so it's very much doing the, like, dost thou love me, but thou must thing with Yosuke. I can't properly be a good friend to Yosuke. Which is actually really sad. It's sadder and harder to deal with than Yosuke, like, struggling with being a shitty teenager, right? <laughs> being a garbage can. So, like, it's hard. It, it, it's, it's tough to, like, watch that happen. No one is stopping by. Aw, oh, come on. Come in for a first-hand experience with group dating. Yeah, you won't believe what's in this room. Oh, oh this is so embarrassing. There's not that many people passing by here in the first place. I think we need some shills to drum up interest. Shills? Uh, who? Who else is here besides us? That plant? Isn't that kind of sad? Do we have a choice? We need customers to get the ball rolling. If there aren't many people passing by, we have to get the attention of the ones who are by any means by necessary. By any means necessary. <laughs> but there's only five of us here. Yo, Yo, what up? I'm here for dates and stuff. I came to check up on you... guys. Perfect timing! But now we've got four guys and two girls. Eh, you guys are cross-dressing tomorrow anyways. Why don't you can sit on the girls' side? What? I'm not gonna... Boldly sit in the girls' area. Fuck gender norms. I'm all about this shit. Boom. Date me, motherfuckers. Oh, you're volunteering? You never run out of surprises. That's right. Man. Well, let's get started. Uh, uh you guys can start now. <laughs> Awkward. Will someone please start? <sighs> the silence is heavy. Should you try asking a question as if you were a girl? What kind of girl do you like? Man, he's really getting into this. I am into getting this. into this. Does that make you feel uncomfortable, Yosuke? Actually, what the hell is this? A mock group date? Um, should I lead off? I guess I'd like a cute girl. <laughs> so what do you find cute? Well, for me, um, I guess a girl that's kind and sort of fragile, you know? Someone I'd want to protect. Of course that's what you want. I'd really like a fragile girl. Um, man, this is, uh, um, yeah. Come on, flirt. Flirt, flirt, flirt. Do it. Uh, hey, you're Kanji. Done, Kanji. Uh, well, I, I guess someone who's kind of mysterious and uh, looks strong, but actually kind of. Yeah, I really wonder who you're talking. Shut about. up, Yosuke. Uh, okay, uh, out of the three of us here, who would you date? Somebody we don't know, shitlord of the universe, or the hottest dude in town. Come on. Object to this line of questioning. Oh, don't worry. All right, let's start with you, Chiesan. Huh? Wait, um. <laughs> uh, well. Come on, let's sweep. Let's sweep the fucking thing. Just sweep it. Everybody, all vote for Kanji at the same time. Well, that's probably... Three, two, one. Easy. Fucking easy. <laughs> wow. Who would you want to like? Yosuke, Kanji, a girl. I'm scared of my feelings. Whoa, way to go, Kanji. I mean, isn't he a perfect That's right, I'm tough. Cold on the outside. Empty on the inside. I'm like a dark, void, 
with like a beautiful candy shell. Don't you just want to put me in your mouth till I melt? Oh, definitely not! You son of a... I ain't kidding here. If you don't stop bringing that up, I ain't holding myself responsible, you got it? There, there. It's because you're so manly. Even guys can get behind that. Just pick Yosuke up and just fucking wring his little neck. Well, I am pretty confident that I ain't gonna lose to anyone when it comes to manliness. Kanji looks happy. Yeah, that's right. You know, it's really manly. Kissing another Aww. dude, Kanji. Right here on this table. That's like the manliest fucking thing I could think of. What's up, Rize? Senpai, how are you doing? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, me and Kanji were just talking about how we were gonna make out, so... What's up? You wanna watch? All right, girl. See you later. <laughs> I like how she just Grandpa Simpson noped out. Just Market. whoop. The group date cafe is officially a failure. Oh, it was dark. On the first day of the culture festival, and on a strange note, you decide to at least walk around the school a bit before going home. Oh, this class is exhibiting a collection of local artifacts. I wish ours was doing something this cool. We're doing a freaking play, man. What's up with that? It's too late to complain, Piglet. It's not Piglet, it's Hamlet. How'd I get stuck with that role anyway? Because you're the moody son of a noble house. What you fuck, you're, you are Hamlet, dude. And who the hell came up with this play? Romeo and Juliet and Hamlet? Dude. I'd watch that. Romeo and Juliet and Hamlet. Yeah, it was one of uh, Shakespeare's most famous plays about threesomes. Chill out, dude. Tomorrow's gonna be way more exciting, you. For sure. <laughs> I'm gonna be rooting for you in that beauty contest. Yeah, you better. I'm gonna fucking look hot as shit up there. What? You sure you wanna go in there? Was this a da, da ke, something? Oh, it's like a haunted house. Da ke house. So it says on the little sign, and it says entrance above the door. Oh well, it's nothing. I'm not scared or anything. Oh yeah, in that haunted house. Hey, wait for me! Don't leave me here alone. I have an idea. I should act like a ghost too. I'm a ghost! I'm a ghost! All you other ghosts are my friends! Boo! Ouch! Don't grab my hand like that! You made me. You could? Is that you? <laughs> Who are you? No more! I wanna go home! Aww. Don't tell anyone what happened in there, okay? I mean, it wasn't scary at all. I, I just peed my pants because I wanted to. You had a fun time with Yumi. I'm not sure if that's how I would put it. Oh, so I'm really fucking playing the field, hey? A long-nosed fortune teller. Let's say, Magi... Magi no... Taro... To... Oh, Magi no Taro. But it's actually pronounced Taroto. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Uh, you wanna challenge me? I bet you can't win. Overestimating your confidence only work against you, miss. I'll take that as your acceptance. I challenge you to read one fortune, no time limit. If, if I win, I'm gonna destroy this stand. Well, I... The subject of this little contest is, use relationship with girls. If that's the case, I most certainly have the advantage. What does that mean? I mean, it's the better better room, so. You toured the culture festival with your friends, like a human does. You're back. Yeah, and you're drunk. I'm going to bed. Second day of the culture festival. A 
Hello, everybody. Yes, welcome, welcome. Why are you guys just standing there? Come on, hurry up and sit down. Come on, Kanji Kun, over here. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. The cross-dressing pageant will begin soon. Looks like you'll have to give up and let Yukiko apply makeup on you. I did, I'm not giving up, I'm stoked, I'm into it. What about me? It turns out I'm entering this too. I must win this contest to see my dream realized. What about you're getting your... He seemed bored, so we signed him up as a last minute contestant. So you're making him so Whatever, he's gonna be the cutest of all of us. That's what's well, gonna happen. Signed up, there's nothing we can do about it. Now, Dokun, can you lend us a hand? We'll leave Teddy to you. He's the most feminine looking of the four of us, so it's gonna be easier to make him look like a pretty girl. I still think Kanji's gonna be the hottest though. The Nauto Teddy team's unstoppable. Well then, um First I need some dazzling makeup. You're right. Then I'll go borrow a makeup kit from someone. Wait! The battle begins by choosing the right equipment! <laughs> we gotta use fake eyelashes! Yeah, right? you wanna make your fucking lashes pop? Get some extenders on there. Yeah, bring it on! 